everything has a tale to narrate, a story to tell, and a history to make. Pugo, a gifted and blessed land, full of bliss and happiness, a tourism haven, a land of determination and optimism. The municipality of Pugo is a fifth-class municipality in the province of La Union. According to census, it has a population of 19,690 people. It is primarily an agricultural town. Pugo is located at the foot of the Santo Tomas mountain range just 36 kilometers west from Baguio City via the Marcos Highway. Pugo is 16 kilometers from Magoo and 50 kilometers from the provincial capital of San Fernando, La Union. Established in the year 1912 as a town, this refined community has its own story to tell. Pugo was organized as a township in January 1, 1912. In July 30, 1947, Pugo became a regular municipality of the province of La Union with 14 barangays. Pugo is well known with its local products. The kinitikitan or wood sculptures became a famous connotation of the town. Also, farming is one of the means of livelihood of the people. Pugo will always be a place to love and to cherish. A town where we spend our years growing up and to nurture our children for generations and generations. Pugo, as is stated in its town hymn, is na indaklan adaga not literally describing the land area, but symbolizing the big hearts of its people and its rich cultural heritage that we are going to preserve for the next several years. The local government of Pugo takes honor and glory to present what public service is all about. A clear and strong endeavor, hard work and commitment in laying the mission and vision of this municipality is intended for a more rationalized system in building socio-economic development plans, policies, and programs. Tourism In Pugo, everyone saw the need to emphasize our ecotourism development. With such attractions such as Pugo Adventure or Pugad and Cultura Splash Wave, the eco-adventure destination of La Union is fast establishing itself as the next big spot on the tourist map with a skyrocketing increase of local and foreign tourists. Pugu Adventure opened in September 2010 which has brought urge of thrill seekers to try out its ziplines. The high zipline gives a breathtaking panoramic view of Pugu's surroundings. Other facilities include pools, picnic grounds, an ATV track, and a tower for rappelling and wall climbing. Cultura Splash Wave completed in November 2010 has similarly drawn tourists by the thousands because of its wave pool. The state's fully designed wonderful features several pools, water slides, cabanas, snack houses, function halls, and a hotel. Quieter and yet just as appealing with its pristine waters is the exquisite Tapuacan River. Tapuacan River has crystal clear waters flowing from the mountaintop towards the river mainstream, slowing down along giant stones, engulfing into the calves of other rock formations that are tagged along the water's path. This river has been adjudged as the cleanest, safest and greenest inland body of water not only in La Union but in the entire Region 1. Another place to go for a retreat to nature is the Kanai Reforestation Park with its gigantic trees and stunning views. This was a project made to restore and recreate areas of the forest that have undergone deforestation. It offers trails and sites for trekking and a well-recommended place to go for a retreat to nature. We also have the Nagbukal River which is located at Barangay Ambangunan, Pugo, La Union. The swimming area was believed to be 10 meters deep, but due to piles of stones, rocks, and sediments, it has become 10 feet approximately. 
Some locals also believe that the footprint shape embedded in a huge rock was a footprint of a giant. Infrastructure, Barangays and Schools the impact of projects in economic and social development of the people of Pugu is taken into consideration. Access to reliable, high-quality, and efficient infrastructure projects is a critical factor in reducing poverty and inequality, promoting economic growth, improving educational system, and creating jobs. Infrastructure projects such as roads, and bridges were implemented in Pugo for accessibility and convenience. Also, investments in school infrastructure have an essential role in solving access problems of students to the school system and to improve their performance. Having rooms and learning spaces in good conditions is decisive for students to achieve the expected academic results. An evacuation center is an ongoing project located at Poblacion West, Pugo to highlight risk reduction management and to serve as an avenue during disasters. Health For most of us, it's an ordinary thing to go to the doctor when we're sick or in need treatment. It's something we can easily take for granted. However, the 21st century calls for a new paradigm of medical mission. The more we are blessed, the more we should give back to society. Supporting any medical, Dental and optical missions and other activities that foster healthcare is one such opportunity to share blessings. It is a small contribution but with huge impact to nation building. Fostering quality healthcare to our disadvantaged brothers and sisters in Pugo. Environment Responsible consumption and conservation are ways to solve environmental problems. It is important to recognize, however, that creating wealth and protecting the environment coexist. Therefore, a clean and green activity in observance of the Civil Service Month was done by the LGU personnel and barangay residents. By being properly prepared for a natural disaster, you can better protect your home, family, and property. An earthquake drill was participated by the municipal employees. Also, earthquake drills were conducted at the different schools of Pugo, La Union.
Social Development We want to put the people of Pugu to be at the center of development for the purpose of improving the well-being of every individual and reach their full potential. This means that we invest in the people of Pugu so that they can contribute in positive ways to their family, school, and to the community. The local government of Pugu promotes social inclusion of the poor and vulnerable by empowering people, building cohesive and resilient environment, and making institutions accessible and accountable to citizens. It all began when the humble municipality of Pugu marked its first Tinungbu Festival last January 20 to January 22, 2017. A festival that was crafted in preserving our culture, understanding our individuality, and embracing our identity. Tinungbo is a traditional and indigenous way of cooking food in a bamboo, locally called as tubong. The bamboo or tubong is grilled over charcoal until the food is perfectly and thoroughly cooked. The municipality of Pugu would like to re-establish and reintroduce to the new generation the celebration of respect, tribute, honor, and memories of life that our ancestors have established in Pugu. With the first Tinumbo Festival, it is not only about culture, talents, and practices. It is also an integration and fusion of voluntary participation and sense of community involvement. In the spirit of voluntary participation and community involvement, and through hard work, commitment, and productivity of the people, we have purchased a new ambulance for the municipality of Pugo using the proceeds collected in the Tinumbo Festival and other related activities conducted for the said purpose. The municipality of Pugo, as represented by the students of Pugo Catholic School, has made a history by being the champion in the street dancing competition, the Panagbenga or Flower Festival in Baguio City. Also, Pugo was adjudged as the second runner-up in Dagupan, Pangasinan during the Pangus Festival. And as the champion during the Dinangdung Festival in Agoo, La Union. Newspaper, online articles in radio stations like Midland Courier, Manila Bulletin, 
Herald Express, Balita, Sunstar, and even Bombo Radio framed high-flown and respective words for Pugo. Such a recognition and appreciation to be proud of. Along the success of the first ever Tinumbu Festival is a promotion and elevation of the second Tinumbu Festival on January 19 to January 21, 2018. Pre-festival activities were conducted such as the foundation anniversary of Pugo and opening of the second Tinumbu Festival. Other activities include the search for Miss Pugate 2018, Choral Competition, Video Key Challenge, Community Night, and other related activities or competitions. This festival is not only for fun and entertainment. It is a festival with a cause. The proceeds of the festival through souvenir program, solicitations, pledges, and other lucrative activities will be used for the purchase of laptops and other equipment for the schools of Pugo in support of the educational well-being and learning program not only of our students but also of our teachers. But other than this, it is the spirit of giving that makes this Tinumbo Festival extra special. Again, this Tunumbo Festival is the people of Pugo. Because of the all-encompassing and unending support from the people, and with the hand-in-hand -hand work with other government officials and employees, several awards and recognitions were received by our municipality. These awards do not only acknowledge success, they also recognize our ability, struggle, effort, and above all, excellence. All of these serve as testament of our work ethic, dedication, and commitment. It brings me great joy to welcome everyone to our simple and humble municipality, the municipality of Pugu, a municipality with a clear vision and vision of providing a positive platform to be one of the best municipalities in the province of La Union. With great endeavor, hard work, and commitment, let us start in making a history for a grateful journey and a moment to consider as a legacy. Sabay-sabay tayo, go, go, go!